Hi friends. Oh, my voice. So deep and sexy. <coughs> so, don't get me wrong, I love K-pop. And I mean like, give up all of my adult responsibilities so I can watch an hour long compilation of J-Hope laughing. Love K-pop. But it is difficult to be an international K-pop fan. So I thought, just for fun, I'd make a few short videos having a little chat about all of the different things that get in the way of pointlessly devoting our lives to talented Korean idols. So the first part is going to be about geography. The problems that come with not physically being in the same country as these idols that we obsess about on a daily. So obviously, time difference can be a massive issue. You wake up and realise you have missed everything. Whilst you've been asleep there have been 20 live streams, 4 albums and your favourite group has disbanded. You try and figure out what time it'll be in your country when the new songs drop or when your bias's birthday begins. Trust me, it's important. And if you're anything like me and find time difference really confusing, it can be quite difficult. Not to mention that you get so many spoilers for these K-dramas you're watching because you've been asleep whilst everyone else has found out what happened. You know, not naming any names. Harang. Another problem with not living in Korea is the fact that there's no K-pop in the shops here. I literally went into H&M and bought this jumper because it looked like one that JB once wore. I bought a jumper that says creep on the wrists. Creep. Because I wanted to be a little bit more like JB. If you want to get any K-pop albums or merchandise, it is a palaver and a half, let me tell you. You have to find it online and most of the websites are in Korean. Good luck trying to understand that. It means you're never really sure if you're ordering stuff from a legit store or if you're being ripped off by a Korean granny in her basement. Who knows? And everything is more expensive when you're buying it from abroad. And after converting everything from won to pounds or whatever your currency is and having a minor stroke when you read the price, then you click buy now and it says shipping cost is 10 million pounds. But you suck it up because hey, you really need that pillow with Top's face on it. Come back from the army. So you click buy now and get your confirmation email saying thank you for ordering. Your order will be with you in two to three billion years. <laughs> Obviously, the biggest and most gutting problem is the fact that they will never come to your country. All I want to do is go to their concert or meet them at a fan meet, you know, so they fall instantly in love with me and we live happily ever after. But no. Because apparently, when they announce a world tour, that means every single country that has ever existed, apart from the one that you live in. <laughs> Come to London. So essentially, liking K-pop and not living in Korea is like going to a party and being asked to stand outside the whole time. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed that little video, do click subscribe because part 2 will be up very soon and you know, you want to see more of my face, don't you? Give us a like, comment down below and tell me who you stand, tell me what country you live in, just chat to me because really I have no friends. Thanks for watching! I really need to reevaluate my life.